Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're covering top five Trello power-ups that you will need this year to organize and project management your team. So first one is, let me just show you here, deadlines, as you can see, deadlines, I'm sorry, <laughs> by Elegant. So if you click on it, as you can see, this is how it looks like. You can manage your deadlines from your team and you can basically see which uh, team member has you know, completed a task on time on which team member is late. So this is a very simple and a very robust uh, Trello power up. As you can see, you can just add it and then once you add it, you will be clicking enable, right? And then you will be able to uh, basically go to deadlines and see which team member is on time and which team member is late. Now, this is a completely free plugin, obviously. So it's great if you want to, uh, you know, see the deadlines for your team. Now, second plugin on this list is called Kronos uh, Time Tracker, right? So here it is, Time Tracker. So basically, you can track your time, uh, you know, for your team members. So your team members will actually go here and start a timer, right? As you can see, start timer here on the on the right side, and then they will stop the timer when they are done with a task. And as you can see here, our work logs, you will have work logs and stuff like that. And then you will be able to add a work log, right? Two hours, say work log. And then as you can see, this will be right here. This is great for team members. Uh, if you want to, you know, just go and, uh, you know, track your team members, what they're doing, when they're doing it and stuff like that. Now, if you, uh, this is the second uh, power up on this list. Now, the third power up on this list is a board chat. Now, this is a great power up. As you can see, board chat, you have it right here. You can go here. So what you can do with this power up is great for general chat or comments that aren't specific to one card. You can talk with a team that is in a specific board. And you can, again, it's super simple messaging. You can keep the sections at bay, right? You never miss a beat, never miss a message. So you can just go here and again, message people and talk with people. Again, this is free to use for seven days and then it's just $3 a month or $30 annually, which is pretty much nothing if you are running a business uh, on Trello. Now this is, uh, again, number three on this list. We said we have five different plugins or power-ups on this list. So the second power-up is private notes. Now, as you can see, if we go here to private notes, this is basically a power-up where you can store private notes on your Trello cards that only you can see. This is great if you want to have to-do list, if you want to leave secure uh, secure notes on board, shared with external clients, right? Uh, and as you can see, this is how it will look like, private notes. You click save and no one will able to see these notes unless you set them uh, so that everyone can see it, see them, right? Now the pricing is all users start on a 14 day free trial and then you can upgrade any time to one of the below plans, which is annual billing, $12 a year, which is pretty much nothing if you want, which is almost $1 a month, right? Or monthly billing, which is $2 a month. So this is another great plugin. Uh, I would definitely uh, use this if, you know, obviously uh, I want to store private notes. Now, uh, the, I would say fourth plugin on this list, or actually I think, yeah, this is, this is the, the last plugin on this list is um, called Conta List. So Conta List here, as you can see, this is great if you are running a CRM, right? A CRM is basically, uh, you, know, um, you know, customer uh, management, right? And stuff like that for sales. So what you can do is you can link contacts to your cards. You can manage your contact data in one place. No more copy and paste, right? This is, as you can see, it's right here. It's uh, the email and also the uh, phone number for your sales team, right? And for your team, as you can see, and it's completely free, as you can see as well. It's completely free and simple, right? It's uh, great if you want to just store uh, your data uh, right here. So that's kind of the four, the, those are four plugins. We have one more. I'm sorry, right? I said that this is the last one, but we actually have uh, one more, which is going to be uh, this one. So let me just go here. Let me go back to the uh, first plugin board. So I will show you which one is this one. So if you go here, we'll go X. Then as you can see here, we have a lot of uh, plugins at the start, right? As you, as you can see. Now, what I really like about Trello is that you can actually have email to board. So Email to board is great if you want to add cards via email, right? So as you can see, you can add cards via email, right? 
You can select the list and position for new cards to be created on. You can copy your unique email address and test it out by sending an email to the address, right? So you can actually send emails from your uh, Trello boards, right? Which is really, really great if you are, uh, you know, again, using Trello for business and stuff like that, right? Now, this is completely free uh, as far as I know, but it is a great integration for anyone that's running a business on Trello. So these are five Trello power-ups you need th this year. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.